The author of the passage suggests that a dream falls short in which of the following respects. So it's here in the second paragraph, starting on line seven, that the author of this passage enumerates the inadequacies of a dream. So it says, yet as an adult, I have come to demand of any really great book a self-consciousness about the tenuous nature of representations of reality. So let's stop right there, the idea, or the part where it says tenuous nature of representations of reality. This part, we need to match up with answer choice A. Let's see why. It does not appear to recognize that representations of reality could be unreliable. If something is tenuous, it is weak and insubstantial. And she's saying that the person who's writing this book is not aware of this tenuous nature or this unreliable nature of reality. And therefore, A matches up with that part of the sentence. Now let's look at B. It says, it seems to focus on stylistic variety at the expense of accuracy of detail. Now notice, if you focus on the word detail here in answer choice B, you will see that indeed the next part says a critical contextualization of floor detail. So if you say, oh, there's detail, I'm going to go match that detail, the detail, the passage, you're going to get this one wrong. You have to look at the big picture. Just because the word detail is there, it doesn't mean it's correct. What's the big picture? A critical contextualization of floor detail. The idea that you're offering lots of fancy details, but you're not giving us a reason why. That's critical contextualization of floor detail, or that's what she's not doing. She's not giving us a reason why she's offering fancy details. Now, B says it seems to focus on stylistic variety, which doesn't really mention that, at the expense of accuracy of detail. Did they ever talk about the accuracy of details? It just said that this person offers us a lot of details without ever really giving us, giving us a sense why she's offering those details, not whether those details are accurate or not. So watch out for B, that's a tricky one. C, it offers a wealth of detail without sufficient critical examination of that detail. And now you can see, oh, that's what I was just saying. I'm reading the actual, actually what, uh, what a critical contextualization of floor detail means or what it refers to. And that, of course, is answer choice C. Don't get tripped up by B, and there are two answers.